Hello everyone, it's Universal Gamer here, aka Ojuni5, welcome back to GTA 5. Last video we complete we did all the um, submarine parts and now we continue on continue on with this asshole of Devon Weston. So we're gonna start off as Franklin so we get the whole dialogue. Uh. Hello Hello oh, you must be Michael's boy. I fought the law. It can be a real bitch. Ah, good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, Holmes. Mm -hmm. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yep. It's just kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're <sighs> poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech mm -hmm. about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. Not coming Ooh. from you, please. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Devin. What's going on? You're going to dress up as traffic cops, and you're going to rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. What? Why? Yeah, Even why? The price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work. You'll all be well paid. Ooh. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's <laughs> research team suggests the two boys like the ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Okay. Hey, that sounds easy. Going. Ooh, let's go, team. Trevor, um, oh, stop scratching your bits, man. All right, look, I'm a Darwinist, brother. All right, <sighs> some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose now. Are you gonna do this, or have you simply found your level in life? <sighs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Oh my god, he is such a Fucking twat. Uh, I, I think all GTA players hate him. Right, let's go to the gas station. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Uh, this one's a. Uh, although there's a lot of driving in this mission, this mission is awesome. High speed chases. High speed. Yeah, high speed chase for the whole state. Which I'm definitely not complaining. Uh, um not that one. Next one. This one over here. Then go to the left. Hey. There we go. Go! Cool. I'm driving so fast. <laughs> Good practice, actually, because we're definitely gonna need it. Oh, let's let's do the phone call. Hey Frank, hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your <laughs> end? Yeah, I guess we look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there. Get going speed. Oh, that won't be an issue, buddy. <laughs> that will not be an issue. Because these guys love to race. Let's do this. <laughs> There's a oh, one owner's place. Millimeters? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh. Who wants to race us? We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Go! Race the cars! <laughs> now we can use, this is where we can use Franklin's brake boosting ability to get much faster and to catch him up. Ha <laughs> ha I'm just gonna be a chicken and just go back to my side of the road. Ooh. Oh, uh, one one requirement for this one is to go through those lorries. 
use Franklin's ability, which I've already done many, many, and I'll do that many, many times. <laughs> and um, to finish a race at the end, but that one's so easy. Oh, without Franklin's ability, let's go. Uh, uh. I'm a good driver. Uh, the one thing I do, just do not want is to um, lose lose one of them. Because some at some parts of the race of this part, for some reason, uh, the blue car tends to slow down so much, and it had to catch up in with catch up with the orange one. But because they're too far with the blue one, that that the mission fails. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Come on! Just like that. Ah. What are you do? This is what I mean. They just slow down, and now I have to go in between. I'm gonna miss. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Oh. Uh, maybe not. I, I I don't know. Oh, I've forgotten. There's another um, requirement for this mission. And one of the requirement. We have to drive through the tunnel. Ah. Oh, this is scary. Because I don't have my. Because I don't have Franklin's ability. There we go. I don't think they can hear the sirens. Nope. Ah! Ah! Oh. Uh, this, is, this is such a good mission. <laughs> See, the way... With, with the weight distribution thingy, it does literally does not impact the bike at, at all. Exactly, Trevor. Our patience will be rewarded. Stay mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I got that this bit. <laughs> uh, Trevor's hatred for the car. <laughs> ah. There we go. Hey. My ass is dead. But I'm the side of the road. <laughs> oh, I love this mission. Just, there's a whole car chase. Car chase, car race, you name it. <laughs> oh, God, I love some banter. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Fucking liar. You and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. This officer. Entirely necessary. Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey! <laughs> Check this crotch. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pipe-like. Yeah, get out of there. You, you 
little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. Alright. Alright. One suggestion for me. Just stick. Just change to Franklin and just go over there. What? Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devon Weston Holdings. Okay. I need to tell Devon we got them cards. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. Okay. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, <laughs> me and your boss ain't gonna have any, e. any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Gotcha. Oh! I wonder if Trevor's lying about that. Oh, about there being scratched. I wonder if he said that just because I um because I collided at the back. Are you sure about that? Actually, they're, they're catching up. They're actually pretty fast. So I thought they'd be way, way behind, but apparently they're not. Not really. Oh, look at that squeeze. Oh, look at that squeeze. Shortcut. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh wow, they're actually pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually surprised how how close they are. Because I thought the, I thought the I thought the code did to be so slow, but apparently not. What? Uh, oh. <laughs> Woo! We won the way race. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Hey, I'm not old. Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look. You finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Yeah, bitch. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. Oh. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. Okay. So we just go house to house? Not quite. 
We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Yeah. Find Mulligan and Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. It's easy. Peasy. Right, so, who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. <laughs> life. It's just one long mystery. Bye bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. <sighs> oh. And we have completed the mission. Ah, just mission time. How much time is that one? Oh, 12. Oh, 46 seconds. Ah. Oh, well. Uh, so, we've got two missions. We've got um, Solomon's mission over here and Devin's mission over here. Now, I'm going to do Solomon's mission first. And if, if there's enough time, I'll do that mission. Show. Sure. To Solomon. Next mission is Solomon. Michael's um idol, as you could as you could call it. Hello. Hee hee. Mr. Richards. Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now <laughs> I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> See the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. <laughs> Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No. No. No, 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 no. retiring, no. but might need some help on the movies. Mm -hmm. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. <sighs> but this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. Lots of training montages. <laughs> so what's the problem? Uh. Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds what? problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? Nope. That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Movie people. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you <laughs> <laughs> uh, Go to East Los Santos. Let's go. If I remember rightly, in this mission, we got a lot of um, stealth kills. We need to do at least three stealth kills. Now I'm not entirely sure. If that is including a um, a kill from a suppressor, so like, because Michael's um, AK-47 has got a suppressor, I'm not sure if that counts. So it'll be interesting to see. Hey Solomon, I'm just doing that. Ah, thing. You Good idiot! Stuff. Now I realized in my excitement <sighs> I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. Mm. 
You want this Pelosi guy clipped? Mm -hmm. No, God, no. Let's kill him. No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anything. Oh, Just okay. teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. Okay. I'll see what I can Easy do. peasy. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. <laughs> Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go Ooh. in quiet. I'll see you on the in other words, box. we must use stealth. But it shouldn't be an issue because I am a stealth pro. I just remembered a gold requirement now to, after watching this cutscene. If I remember rightly, that might be played in a GTA game previously. Reach the, reach the helipad. I'm going to try and stealth kill one of them, then I'll change to my uh, AK-47 and kill the other one. I think we're good. Right, that's one, possibly two, not entirely sure. Oh. How can he not see my shadow? <laughs> that's two. Uh, we've got... That's two. I think we need at least... Three in order to do the god requirement, so we're going to going this way. Because in this in this one, we can stealth kill one and and kill the other with the AK-47. There we go, and I think that's the gold requirement done. So now we can go up here and continue on the next next mission, next part. I'm sure that I'm quiet, but I'm just concentrating to get the to show you the gold requirements. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? I'm his new assistant. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contracts. They'll be going back to the set with me. Mm-hmm. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, this guy's all mine. Oh, okay. Easy. Because <laughs> I'm holding space as I'm fighting him. Oh no, you dodged. So do I, bitch. <laughs> come on, come on, try me. Come on, go on. <laughs> Easy. Ooh. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people mm -hmm. alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. 
All right. <sighs> Let's get back to the lot. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. Ooh. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> nope, no speed limits. And done. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was so quick. Uh, right. Hey, Milt, watch. I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. There we go, done. <laughs> and now, go to Solomon's office. Go, 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 go. Is anxious to see ya. Look, I'm feeling a little beat up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up? Uh, no. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you're feeling piss test at any point on this shoot? There we go. Good boys. There he is. Surprise. <laughs> 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 <sighs> my boy you're an artist i know that and this story is the best kind of art a simplistic cliche ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic get a grip I love you. <laughs> uh. so solomon milton here has a little something he wants to say to you say it uh, and again I, uh, to me this is where michael's oh flying school, flying school comes in handy and I, appreciate I appreciate <laughs> uh, Paul, uh, whatever his name, they they scared shitless after Mike was flying. Too kind. No, me. I don't need to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. Ho ho ho! I'd love that. I think Michael's dreams are coming true. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah, oh, Silent Assassin. Okay, I don't think the AK-4. I think the AK-47 kills do not count. Oh nope. Kill three enemies using stealth attacks. Now, well, I got that one. Yay! Yay! Oh, land. Land a fog of our damage again. Nice. It's just a time. Yay. <laughs> so, considering the time, I reckon we're going to end the video here. Hope to everyone enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be doing. Um, I forgot what the, what the mission is called. This one is. I forgot what that one is called. But we're doing that mission. So, I hope to everyone enjoyed these two missions, and I'll see you when we continue the story mode. Bye guys!